Sony is expected to reveal a souped-up, more powerful PS5 Pro console next month, but enthusiasm for the new system seems almost non-existent amongst PlayStation fans. Unlike the PS4 Pro, which delivered 4K gaming and was designed to appeal to a market flooded with 4K displays, the PS5 Pro has no such selling point. It isn't bringing anything new to the table or addressing a genuine need. And developers have reportedly said the same thing. At the Games Developer Conference, otherwise known as GDC, Chris String from GamesIndustry.biz said, I didn't meet a single person that understood the point in it. Developers didn't really seem to feel they needed it, at least the ones I spoke to. Dring also said developers felt they weren't really making the most of PS5 in the first place and that a PS5 Pro isn't going to grow the market. And that's a fair assessment. For the first two years, barely anyone could get their hands on Sony's new console because of supply issues, which led to the feeling the generation took longer to get going. Countless studios were affected by the pandemic too, leading to delays and longer development cycles, a hangover that's still present today. Even Sony has failed to deliver a steady cadence of first-party titles, relying instead on remasters and remakes to fill in the gaps, as well as third-party timed exclusivity deals. Releasing a more powerful PS5 when the games aren't really flowing and people have only just picked up the console seems premature, and it's hardly like the vast majority of PlayStation 5 games are struggling from a technical perspective either. This generation has delivered 60 FPS for most titles, and there's even plenty of games that can reach 120 FPS. Yes, ray tracing has been used sparingly, but it remains a luxury feature that's always felt nice to have, but never essential. I doubt many people are crying out for a PS5 Pro because they want slightly more realistic lighting and reflections in their games, though I might be wrong. So who is the PS5 Pro for? Sony will have to convince consumers to pay more for a console that runs the best PS5 games slightly better, because it can't promise a four times increase in resolution like with the PS4 Pro, or even a monumental leap in performance. Instead, it will have to meticulously show how the PS5 Pro can make games look a little prettier, run a little smoother, and possibly include ray tracing effects. Even if there's a chance that the console can hit 8K resolution for some games, that also probably won't be a selling point for many, because 8K TVs still haven't penetrated the market like with 4K sets. So is this enough to get consumers to part ways with potentially up to 599 US dollars? 599 US dollars. Not for me. It also doesn't help that Sony's games are now on PC, which wasn't the case when PS4 Pro was released. Funnily enough, there's no competition pushing Sony to release a PS5 Pro either. Microsoft has all but ruled out releasing a more capable mid-gen console, and then Nintendo Switch 2 won't come close to the graphical power of the existing PlayStation 5. PS5 has also proven to be more than capable, often superior to Microsoft's Xbox Series X in head-to-head -head comparisons. Again, it begs the question, who is the PS5 Pro for? Well, ultimately, it's for Sony and its shareholders. Hello, I like money. PS5 hardware sales are in a slump, but a new console release will help address that. The PS5 Pro could also boost software sales as free upgrades and PS5 Pro enhanced versions of games arrive, encouraging players to pick up new titles or revisit their existing library. But even then, the console still feels unnecessary and is unlikely to move the needle significantly. Yes, there will always be a small target audience that wants the very best experience that you could argue that's found on PC, but it seems like Sony is forcing the PS5 Pro on people rather than there being a natural demand. The release of GTA 6 seems like the one game that could change that, especially if Rockstar's title runs poorly on the PS5. But that's over a year away, and the game could slip to 2026. We should find out soon enough whether the PlayStation 5 Pro is something gamers want, I need it! or if it's just an unnecessary and luxury upgrade. Do you want a PS5 Pro? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more.